A fine talent, a lot of hopes behind her. Seventh in the Four Continents event. Her first time, of course, in Worlds. How's she going to fare? Winner of Skate Canada, of course. She looks very composed at the start here. Big smile on her face. Here's the combination. Triple toe, triple toe. Yeah, there was no hesitation going into that. Love the way she sells the program. Triple flip. And again, choreography and transitions both on the way in and on the way out. Well, this has been amazing championships for Canada. Dumel and Radford, wonderful in the pairs. Patrick Chan putting down a world record score in the men's short program. And here, this 17-year-old, but it didn't look like competitive skate. It looked like an exhibition skate. She was smiling before she started. And now look at the reaction. Caitlin Osmond. Yeah, that's got to be the short program of her life, and what a place to do it. Right from the off, she was full of confidence, beaming smile, never left her face from start to finish. Absolutely amazing performance. Technically brilliant, and what I loved about the program was uh, the way it was constructed, the transitions, the choreography linking into every movement and out. There was no time for hesitation, no thinking points. She's obviously trained that program very, very well indeed. Well, that routine uh, recorded earlier, she was ninth to go. And we can tell you we're going to see the marks and see the uh, replays, but it put her in second place. It took her into the lead at the time, but of course it was beaten by Kim Yunar. There's that combination. Look at the speed into and out of that first jump. That enables her to get a great triple toe on the end. Almost as if the music was written for her, wasn't it? Lovely triple flip and watch straight into the choreography. No hesitation, spin straight out of it. Really great to watch every step. Makes such a difference when the skater looks as though they're having fun out there. 
There's that double axle, the last of the jumps, cleanly landed, two and a half rotations in the air. And the illusion there, that gets her a level in that combination spin. I thought the spins were great. I had her a level four on all three spins. We are absolutely thrilled. What a future she has. Canada periodically has a skater who just emerges from the rest as a potential medalist at Worlds. She's probably not going to get a medal this year, but boy, after next year, after the Olympics and the several of the big guns will have retired, you could be looking here at a future world champion. She really is the entire package, no doubt about that. The short program score, 64.73.